So the state of affairs um, with SCA at the moment, um, to answer that question, you need to separate SCA into, into three different areas. Um, and we'll, we'll deal with the um, smallest impact first. So SCA for open banking um, is reasonably well implemented, certainly across the um, largest account holding banks in the UK. And it is from um, those banks or to those banks that there is greatest demand. So there is clearly a long tail of um, financial institutions who are yet to provide um, uh, an interface um, in response to PSD2, but the demand for those interfaces will be quite low. So if you have a small financial institution like a private bank with a very low number of account holders, the likelihood of third parties wanting to consume data from it is lower. Um, the, the clear reason for that is that the CMA order which preceded um, uh, PSD2 has laid the groundwork for that and obviously pushed the um, uh, six largest banks in the UK and then the three largest banks in Northern Ireland to, to get ready for that. So, so that, that's, I'd say, at a fair degree of maturity. Um, the next most significant area is um, in respect of customers' direct access to their um, bank accounts. Um, so online or on, on device. Um, and there's quite a good, good degree of variation there. Um, the major banks, I'd say, are fairly well, well advanced. Um, but the, there is a big degree of discrepancy on implementation um, across all of the other financial institutions. And there are some very large financial institutions who are yet to implement. With respect to cards and card payments online, which is the sort of final area, but the most impactful, um, because clearly cards are a more ubiquitous um, means of transaction than, than online banking, um, the, there is a degree of complexity because the application of SCA is effectively at arm's length from the actual card issuer. The card issuer has to enable it, but then the merchant has to enable the protocol under which SCA takes place, which for the very vast majority will be one of two capabilities. Um, the existing capability, which is device-based authentication, um, uh, is done by means of a wallet that sits on the device. Um, so the, the common examples would be Apple Pay and Google Pay. Um, Google Pay was Android Pay and then rebranded. Um, and then there's also some others like Samsung Pay, Garmin Pay, but those, those are the most common versions. Those are already SCA compliant um, and have been in use for a very long time. Um, the other method of uh, SCA for cards is uh, 3D Secure version 2. And that requires implementation firstly by the card issuer. Um, so the card issuer is going to give the um, card holder a set of credentials which they can use and then secondly by the merchant um, and their integration with their merchant acquirer, so the processor of the payment on behalf of the merchant. And in both cases, so from the point of view of the issuer and from the point of view of merchants, um, implementation is very, very, very limited. 